Jesus, be the glorified. I made you too small in my eyes, O oh Lord, forgive me. Hallelujah. Libraka, somebody shout fire three times. Fire, fire, fire. Shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you ready to pray? Say this loud and clear. We are going to still deal with what we dealt with yesterday. Because, hallelujah, some people began to get relief and breakthrough. I love the testimonies. Every time we finish prayer, text me. If you can call me, text me and I want to hear your testimonies. I want to hear the testimony. Amen. I've been hearing too much of bad news. What is going on with you? What is going on with you? But I need to know also too the great relief and the great deliverance that you're experiencing. Hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. Every chain of the wicked. Binding my prayer life. Break by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Mazuka da barada ria baradia. Eregede rebebeka baradia brandie. Every baraka zabrakadea. Eregede rebebe rebebeke rebebeke baradia. Eregede rebebe rebebeke rebebe rebebia. Mambra baba rababa rababa baradia. Ezelemende lemende 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 ya. Ragada ba. Robo bo 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 bo. Jegede baha. Libra and the Rebbe 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 Baka Bara Bebia Rebbe de Rebbe Baka Bara Bebia Bara Di Rebbe de Rebbe 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 Baka Bara Rebbe 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 Baka Bara Bebia Rebbe Rebbe Baka Bara Rebbe 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 Baka Bara Bebia Rebbe Rebbe Baka Bara Rebbe Rebbe Baka Bara Bebia Zolemen de Rebbe Baka Bara Bebia Rebbe de Rebbe 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 Baka Bara Rebbe Rebbe Baka Bara Bebia Rebbe Rebbe Baka Bara Rebbe Rebbe Thank you Lord Jesus Thank you Lord Jesus Rodo Rebbe Baka Shadow Bohos Ila bande le bele bebia, ragada raba ba raba ba ka ba zabra dia, rogodo rebe bia brandia, rogodo rebe bia brandia, rebe be rebe be ka brandia. In Jesus' name we pray. Say this loud and clear. Hallelujah. Are you ready for prayer today? Every veil of the wicked covering my life and destiny. Say catch fire. Open your mouth and thunder fire. E reggae de rebe beke be reggae dia. Alabra kadara ba kasandaria. E reggae de rebe beke be rebe beke be ria. Rebe bi abara dia. Reggae de rebe beke be rebe be rebe bi ya. Reba ba 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 ka be reba ba rebe beke be ria. E reggae de rebe be rebe beke be rebe bi ya. Reba ba 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 reba ba ka be ria. Lord, let your fire fall. E reggae de rebe be rebe beke be rebe bi ya. Reba ba ba reba ba ka be ria. Abandora. E reba ba ya ba. E labandelia. E reggae de rebe be rebe bi ya ba ria. I command it by fire. E la branda raba ba raba ba ka bere bebia. E re be be re be be re be be ka bere bebia. E re be be re be be ka bere bebia. A raba ba raba ba ka bere bebia. A la bande le bere be be re bebia. E re ke de re be be re be be re bebia. A raba ba 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 ka zaba. E re ke de re be be re bebia. E re be be ka barandia. In the name of Jesus, sumbla daba li branda re bebia. Re ke de re be be re bebia. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Say every gathering of the wicked. Every power suppressing my prayer life. Say scatter by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Regadere <laughs> 
Thank you, Lord. Librando Rababa Yobro. Ezekete Brababa Rebebi Amaradia. Rababa Baba Baba Gashandaba. Elabrando Rebebe Rebebi Amaradia. Erekede Rebebe 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 Amaradia. O Zukadaba Labande Lebebia. Rekede Rebebe Rebebi Amaradia. Jadaba Garaba Kabando Rababa Yada. Thank you, man, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Zunla Dabahaya. Rekede Rebebi Amaradish. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to go to prayer. We're going to go to that scripture. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to go to the scripture very quickly. Uh, the book of uh, 1 Samuel chapter 30. You know, if you know what we are, where we are going to right now. Our prayers is going to be based from there. Our Hallelujah. God bless you, everyone, today. We have just a few days to the end of the year. Hallelujah. You guys get ready for what God is about to do. And I'm praying that God will empower some of you and strengthen some of you. Hallelujah. So that we can really go ahead and really focus on, in, in prayers and do diligently what the Lord has to do with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. If you can't pray and you're at work, amen, hallelujah, you really want to be part of this. Just go ahead and try to mute your phone if you're in the pre -no. If you're not able to join us, hallelujah, and uh, you're at work right now, amen, hallelujah, just you can mute your phone, amen, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For Samuel, show me to Samuel. Hmm. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Okay, first Samuel chapter 30. Terry, Terry, Terry. All right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lo Ramanda Rabba Sada Bahaya. Eleven de Rebebea Paradore Bebios. Ziga da Rabba Rabba Baya Brade. Jelemen de Lebebea Paradi. O Rodor Rabba Rebebea Pa. Mazanda de Bebea Paradas. Jedeke de Rebebea Parando Rodos. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless your name, Jesus. Thank you for your special love today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We are surrounded by a number, number of angels. Right now, we give you the praise, Lord. Blessings to your holy name. In the name of Jesus. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziglag. On the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south. Spirit of God, I decree by the power of the blood. That even as we begin to pray, let your blood be released over us now. I decree that every spirit that has been assigned against us today will be totally destroyed. As we begin to get into the word of the Lord, Father, I pray that you send an alarm. I pray that you send forth your trumpet. You send forth your voice and begin to awaken every vessel, every weary vessel, every tired vessel. You begin to awaken them now by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let there be a stirring, O God, that as they begin to hear the sound of my voice, Father, that fire will enter into their spirit, that grace will enter into their lives. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, we break demonic powers, demonic operations, demonic attacks on the devil. That Lord, as from today, every attempt of the devil against the life comes to an end. I decree that your hand will begin to rescue. Your hand, your hand will begin to redeem them from every clutches of Satan. By the power in the blood. By the power in the blood. Mum brother Rabaka Sanda Bahaya. Come on, let's give him the glory. Liuko Randora Babos. Regede Rebebeka Baradia. Zandele Bendele Bebia Paradia. Regede Rebebeka Baradiash. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You will shout this prayer loud and clear. Hallelujah. Glory be to the living God. Now, we see the scripture. You know that prayer that it reminds us of that prayer. The Bible says that the word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than in two edges word. Hallelujah. The word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than in two edges word. Hallelujah. But, but one thing that we want to pray now is that is that Acts chapter 2. 
Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. And the fire of God came upon their forehead. Amen. It's the fire of God sat on them. The glory of God sat on them. This morning, before we get into series of prayer, we want to really empower ourselves. Amen. Empower us ourselves for what the battle ahead. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mangaraga deri baby apara deri baby yours. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go there. Let's quickly go there. Before we come to this, before we come to this, uh, before we come to this uh, first Samuel chapter 30, I want us to go to Ezekiel chapter 36. And then we're going to serious prayer from there on. Hallelujah. We'll come back. We're coming back to this uh, um, book of, uh, uh, in this book. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ezekiel chapter 36. You understand my voice? Let's quickly go there. Glory to God. Mm. Okay, that's about the clean water. Oh, glory to God. Okay, let's go to the next chapter. Let's, let's go to the next, the next chapter. Ezekiel 37. Mando lobo horia pass. And the hand of God came upon me, was upon me, and carried me out, and, and carried me out, amen, in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley. Remember that word. Carried me what? In the spirit of God. The hand of the Lord was upon me. And carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. Carried me what? Out in the spirit of God. And set me down in the midst of the valley. And was full of bones. In, hallelujah. Amen. When God carries you. Amen. You cannot follow the plan of God. When you are in the flesh. Neither can you confront the devil when you are in the flesh. Hallelujah. You see men, great men like Elijah, amen, great men like Ezekiel was carried out by the hand of the Lord. When the hand of the Lord comes upon you, amen, the, you, 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 you switch realms, amen. I'm talking about from the physical realm down to the spiritual realm. And when you are in the spirit, amen, hallelujah, you are covered, you are protected. Because every time you are in the flesh, you are exposed to the devil. That is when the devil can have access to you. That is when the devil can torment you. That is when the devil can afflict you. Hallelujah. But by the time you begin to step out, Amen. Step out in the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. And you are in the spirit of the Lord. And God begins to carry you. Everything you begin to decree must come to pass. Look at what it says further. Cause me to pass by then. Round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And Lord, you were very dry. Hallelujah. And he said unto me, son of man, can these bones leave? And I said, and, and answered and said, oh Lord, thou knowest. Our first prayer today, our first prayer today. Hey, my father, my father, as I pray today, Lord, carry me. The Bible says the devil carried Jesus, carried him. I begin to show him everything. When the devil carries you, he begins to speak to you. That is when you begin to hear the voice of God, the, the, the devil. The devil will begin to tempt you. Amen. When the devil carries you, you, be, you, be, you, be, you become puffed up. You become arrogant. Amen. Every kind of negative things begin to flow inside of you. You become jealous. You become envious. It, 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 when the spirit carries you, something happens in your life. But you're going to pray today. Hallelujah. You're going to pray. Well, because when God carries you, it's a different matter. Hallelujah. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, let your hand carry me. Let your hand carry me. Let your hand rescue me from every trap of the devil. Let your hand lift me up. Open your mouth and begin to pray. My father, my father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Rababa baba kashanda ba. Elabande lebre baby apa. Irogodo rababa kusonda ba. Ilabraba. Irababa. Rababa kasamba haya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Zonde lebre 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 kabaradiya. Rababa rababa kasamba haya. Irogodo. Irebe lebre lebre ya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Manda rababa sambradiya. 
In the name of Jesus. Hand of God. Oh, hand of God. Carry me by your spirit. Carry me, oh God, in the realms of the spirit. Spirit of God, overshadow my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says that Elijah was about to leave. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Elijah was about to leave and the chariots of fire came and carried him. You are going to pray. Whether you believe it or not, say the prayer. Hallelujah. You don't need to believe it. Just say the prayer. And the angel of the Lord will choose whether to answer the prayer or not. <laughs> God himself will choose whether to answer the prayer or not. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Amen. Amen. Say chariots of fire. Chariots of fire. <laughs> say wheel of the Holy Ghost. Wheel of the Holy Ghost. Carry me and my family. Open your mouth and begin to fire prayer. Angels of God, arise Holy Ghost, Hand of the Lord, hand of the Lord, Libranda Rabakasa, chariots of fire, carry me, O God, over every valley, carry me to the mountain top, in Jesus name we pray amen my brothers, everyone, go ahead. Hallelujah. Begin to invite your friends, people. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready for prayer? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Glory to God. Are you ready? Heavenly weapons of war. As I begin to pray. I receive them by fire. Say fresh fire. Holy Ghost fire. Sit on my head. Sit on my head. Go ahead and begin to pray. Oh, Spirit of God, dwell upon me, O God. Fall upon me by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. We're going to confront some powers today by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, even as we're about to pray, get yourself ready because something is about to happen. Hallelujah. Go ahead, share the broadcast and invite people in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. God bless everyone today. Hallelujah. It's your time of expectation. It's your time of visitation. And you will never better some again. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Mm. Amen. You see, one of the things that uh, we have to do today is, um, I know some of you don't really uh, phantom or grab the situation of where we are right now in this season. Amen. In this season is a time of real, real prayer. Somebody say real prayer. Hallelujah. In this season, amen, God has put together, hallelujah, um, before the end of the year, we're going to be having some series of prayer, maybe twice a day for the next, I'll let you know, twice a day, amen, hallelujah. Sometimes I'll come like 6 o'clock in the evening, and sometimes you come, you come in the afternoon, and hallelujah, to really minister, and uh, minister so that people can be blessed. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar, and so I know that he's going to... Um, why the earth not flat? <clears throat> oh boy, pills on periscope. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I don't know how you want to begin next year. I really don't know how you want to begin 2018. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know how you want to start. Are you planning to finish well? Hallelujah. Yesterday we dealt with some things yesterday. I'm going to elaborate a little bit. Because so many things have gone wrong in the lives of people. Hallelujah. People have been challenged left and right. Hallelujah. And, but we believe in that today there shall be total liberty. Some of you received massive deliverance. Some of you, um, I pray that God will begin to restore and restore more grace. Restore more of his glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, one of the things we are studying is Ezekiel chapter 37. It said, and... The hand of the Lord came upon me and carried me out, carried me in the spirit of the Lord, set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Spirit of God, I pray that you open every word. Father, I pray that you cause us to dwell and enjoy and, and enjoy and eat of the revelation that you have for us. Let the manna in your word be revealed to us. Father, feed us, O God. Feed us, not just with your logos, with your rema. Open our understanding, open our insight. Father, I pray that, Lord, you challenge us. Grow our faith in you. Spirit of God, let the fear of God brood upon us today. Father, for every little, little words, let it be a revelation within it, Lord. Father, I pray you open your word to us. Let your love flow freely, your God. Every heart wounded, every heart in pain, let it be healed emotionally in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for the bond of your love and your joy. Cause us to fellowship more in this your spirit i pray let us abide in your spirit break away every heart every stony heart bring us to a place of submission humility in jesus name we pray amen hallelujah glory to god and the hand of the lord and he caused me run about and behold there were very many in the open valley hallelujah and he said to me son of man can these bones leave and i answered all oh of that noise again he said unto me prophesy to these bones you see what god is doing the first thing that he happened is that he carried his man he knew that God himself, he, he said, if I will, search, I will search for an intercessor to stand between the gap. And if there's no intercessor to stand in the gap, he says, even my own hand will bring salvation. So that means that he will bring somebody, hallelujah, he will choose somebody, amen, to be able to speak over a situation. And this is where we are going to, hallelujah, in this nowadays, in this future, in this destiny. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, by Sister, uh, um, hallelujah, hold on a second. Glory to God. I wanted to just mention names now, but you know, we have to be district here. Hallelujah. And glory, 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 glory. Go ahead and begin to talk to the Lord and say, Lord, open my understanding. Visit me, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Spirit of God began to convict this man. He says, can these bones leave? If God begins to ask you this question, it means that God wants you to talk. It means God wants you to have, God is saying that I need your opinion. Because your opinion matters. I want to move in this situation, but what, whatever you say is what I will do. You see how humble God is. God is so humble that he can choose to do it without you. But sometimes he wants man's involvement. Hallelujah. So for anything that must happen even in your life and your family, God needs your involvement. Hallelujah. He needs special involvement. Listen to me. Before the end of this year, it's going to be bloody. It's going to be very, very serious. Amen. We are coming to a season of judgment. Hallelujah. Serious judgment. Amen. The, 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 the last one week that we're going to have before the end of this year is going to be brutal. 
get yourself ready hallelujah i'm getting myself ready already it's going to be very very brutal so there are some situations there's some herods there's some humans that needs to die and they're going to die in the red sea they're not they're not crossing over with you to the next year it's, it cannot happen hallelujah except god did not call us hallelujah something will happen in your life the power of god is going to rock you it's going to liberate you from every crutches of the devil yesterday yesterday some people don't understand the prayers of the marine powers but I tell you something, the angel of God was being released and it began to liberate many from the clutches of hell, from the clutches of the marine powers. Many people have been held back by that power. Many people have been tied down by that power. Many people have been abused by that power. Hallelujah. But in the name of Jesus Christ, whatsoever has held you, whatsoever has kept you bound, shall break free and release you in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say glory. Hallelujah. So what we are seeing today, what we're going to be dealing with is recover all. Somebody say recover all. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, we, we begin to see something that is very, very unique here in this scripture. And um, um, God begin to say prophesy. For every word that you, when you begin to prophesy, God gives you the unction to say to say. Amen. Hallelujah. Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established. And no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against thee, thou shalt condemn. For every curse spoken over your life must be replaced with a blessing. Hallelujah. For a curse to come upon the enemies of, uh, to come upon the Israelites, the devil had to use a priest to pronounce a curse. And for a blessing to come upon your life, God also has to use a priest. And for you to be blessed by yourself, you have to open your mouth. You have to pray. You have to decree things. Hallelujah. We are In this world, we are dealing with strange powers. Strange powers. Hallelujah. And one of the things that uh, the Lord keep emphasizing before us is that um, don't keep quiet. Don't say the Lord understands. Every time you are confronted by somebody and you begin, listen to me, there are two kinds of people in your life. Those who are sent by the devil, those who are sent by God. Those who are sent by the devil bring a curse. And those who are sent by God bring a blessing. The day you avoid them, when you avoid such people, those who bring curses in your life, your life will move smooth. There will be challenges. The reason why many of us have setbacks in our lives is because we have people who come from the demonic. People who have wrong energies. People who pronounce evil against us. People who are not in the same right frame of mind. Amen. They speak negatively. They talk negatively. They imagine negatively against us. Hallelujah. You think they are for us, but they are not for us. They have a different caliber. Of, uh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are used. In, they begin to pray negatively. I used to, there was somebody that was, um, um, some people who were close to me. Hallelujah. And, you know, why they were close, you could just tell some things were happening the energy because their life became a puddle for demonic powers sometimes hallelujah you sometimes you need to associate yourselves with people who bring in the light every now and then the devil is looking for a vessel to use he's looking for who to pollute who to visit who to use hallelujah make yourself a vessel make yourself an instrument of of holiness an instrument of power 2018 is going to be a very, very serious year. Very serious year. Because the storms that will be rolling will either cause you, your ego, to emerge or cause your chicken to emerge. And if you have the spirit of a chicken inside of you, like in America, you're going to chicken out. You're going to lose in fear. But those who are the egos will be taught how to fly during the storm. And it's gonna you some of you who have been an eagle for a while, you're gonna feel like a rainbow. Everywhere you're flying to, you feel like your sky is covered with, with rainbow. Hallelujah. Because God is gonna beautify your season with such glory. Hallelujah. You're gonna beautify your season with such glory. There's a rain of God that is about to overtake many of us. There's a, there's a strong, 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 strong grace that is about to release in this season. Right, but you see, this season cannot just come just like that by just talking. 
comes when you're overwhelmed by the spirit of prayer. He said this in the book of Zechariah. I will pour upon the house of David the spirit of grace and of supplication. That is about to overshadow Israel. Hallelujah. And so if you want to really burst forth in the place of prayer, you want to break forth in the place of intercession, hallelujah. You want to, you want to ask God, this Lord, release unto me the spirit of grace and supplication. When this grace comes upon you, oh my goodness, it overshadows you, it takes over you, you will never be the same. Hallelujah. Say this loud and clear. Say, I release the blood of Jesus over my environment. Every spirit that is not of God, I bind and I cast you out right now. And I take authority over you. In the name of Jesus, every influence of the devil, every demonic spirit, every demonic projection against my mind, I bind and I cast you out. You witchcraft marine powers. I break your operations in the name of Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Are you, are you hearing me today? The words that you say either releases the life of God. The words that you say either releases darkness. When you begin to pray, hallelujah, never, every, that's why the devil always want to provoke man to get to the place of anger. Because when you get to a place of anger, when you are angry in your spirit, the, the, the words that comes out are usually negative. And so the devil now uses those words that you said, either against your children, either if you're a parent against your children, against yourself whoever has favor with you the devil sometimes will activate them for you to make them angry or them to make you angry and so any words that comes out of your mouth that empowers you negatively that it can empower your environment negatively and if it changes your realms negatively do you know that your words can bind an angel your negative words can bind an angel it can also lose an angel hallelujah in this season, God is about to baptize us with the realms of prayer. Some of you are going to pray and pray and pray and pray. Get tired of praying. Wake up praying. Speaking in tongues praying. Hallelujah. All day praying. Consumed by prayer. And I've, I feel that grace is coming again. And when that grace comes, believe me, there will be so much reactions in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, let's, 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 let's now move. Hallelujah. When God began to say prophesy, prophesy, God began to speak to him in his heart. Prophesy. Speak. Speak, son. Speak. These are dead bones. You got to speak. You got to speak. Number one, he was in the spirit. Number two, he had to open his mouth. Some of you are seeing mountains. You are scared to speak. You don't want to speak. You don't want to address it. You want to hear revelation. Thor says a lot. Don't speak to your environment. Sometimes prophecies are given to you. Document your prophecies. Document them and begin to speak life into it. Sometimes you prophesy on people and they're here to come to pass. Take the prophecies, write them down. Pray on it. Lord, let this word come to pass. You gave me this word. Let them come to pass in the, in the lives of these people. You must intercede for those words to come to pass. Hallelujah. Decreeing and watching over the word that was given to you, of have been spoken through you, over your city, over your region. Hallelujah. Some people are scared to even speak the word. They feel like it might not happen. No, the devil is a liar. In your family, there are dead bones in your family. In your destiny, there are dead bones. Hallelujah. At your workplace, there are dead bones. Who will God use to speak life? Hallelujah. Who will God use to begin to speak life, to begin to address situations? Hallelujah. You must be a man to confront your mountains. Confront every devil. The reason why there's so much depression. Ah, look at this man. Who is this one? Glory to God. The reason why there's so much depression in the life of people, hallelujah, is because you don't address your situations. Glory to God. Open your mouth and begin to speak. Don't entertain negative words. Oh, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. What are you joking about? It won't change your situation. Why are you allowing the devil to take get root? Joke with good words. Joke with sweet words. Ha, you're going to be a president. <laughs> Laugh about it. Because in a laughing, so shall it come to pass. Hallelujah. Now, what are we confronting today? The Lord began to specifically tell me, he says, I want to restore. The, I want to restore all that my people have lost. My people have lost so many things. Amen. Lost so many things in 2017. We've lost so many things. Now, I'm, I'm speaking to people, very, for the very few people who the Lord will release this baptismal of prayer. Where this prayer line has been an expert in doing warfare. Hallelujah. You can do warfare outside of God. And you, might not, you, might, you might not accomplish much. One can chase a thousand, two can chase ten thousand. 
But when you're doing the war in the spirit, when you are abiding in that secret place of the Most High, when you're really hidden in God and you begin to exercise complete dominion, authority over the devil, something happens. It's no longer you that fights. It's you, you is God that fights now. God single-handedly takes the battle and takes it to the enemy's camp and begins to war, to war against the, the powers of hell. Hallelujah. I don't care what has confronted you. I don't know what has invaded your heavens. I don't know what has tried to silence your voice. But the power in the Holy Ghost, such, such power shall be broken, such power shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Prophesy upon the dry bones. And this guy began to prophesy. Let's open our scripture to back to what you are saying, to the, to the initial scripture that we had. First Samuel chapter 30. For Samuel chapter 30. Hallelujah. For Samuel chapter 30. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziglag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south, Ziglag, smitten Ziglag, and burned it with fire. Amen. Hallelujah. Burned it with fire. And had taken the men captives that they were daring, and they slew not any idle grace more, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire. And his wives, sons, and daughters were taken captives. Hallelujah. Many times in the beginning of this year, some of us have experienced the fire, some of us have, first have gone through the storm. Some of us, amen, hallelujah, so many things happen. Hallelujah reputation bonds things destroyed the devil went all out at war against us hallelujah nevertheless we are still here still surviving hallelujah boost with fire hallelujah and 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 and, and we we see that it wouldn't just happen to anybody it happened to david who had oil in his life david was not insane david was still a king hallelujah but this david had oil in his life had prophetic words on his life and there was a day that God allowed this battle to take place. God allowed these defeats to happen. They allowed the enemy to invade David. Why? To strengthen the cords of David. To, to bring David back to the place of consecration. To, to bring David to back to the place of dependence on him. Hallelujah. So some of us, some battles, the Lord would have allowed it. Allow some battles. Allow the devil to come get an advantage. It happened to Job. Don't look down. Don't feel bad. Because your latter is greater than your past. Are you hearing me? Many times, no matter how you are fasted, no matter how you prayed, sometimes the Lord wants to see how much you love him. And the devil will come. And at this time, many people blow it up. Because during this time, many people start cursing God. Many people start losing interest in God. The words they say, they start murmuring like spoiled brat. You don't need to be so spoiled. I never will curse God. Never. Never. I will never reach that level. And you must be you must be able to breed your mouth. Some of them begin to get angry with God. I'm angry with God. Are you angry with God? Be angry with the devil. And so when people say that you're angry with, the, with God, it means that you are still a baby. You've not grown yet. You're still maturing. And so until you until you until you you still be receiving baby temptations. Until you cross that elementary line and you, 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 you go to a place now whereby you are sent in the realms of prayer. Hallelujah. When I mean realms of prayer, I mean crossing the line of two hours. I know some of you are like, are you serious? Yes. Start with worship. Start with your Bible. And start praying the scriptures. From there, as you're praying, give me the grace to pray, the grace to pray. And then you begin to read, as you're praying the scriptures, the book of Psalms. That's what mostly I do. And then from there, you're, you're crossing the line. As you're crossing the line now, you just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. For me, I listen to a lot of worship while I'm praying. Because it helps my focus. Hallelujah. And the worship sometimes can be very beautiful. I don't sing, of course, but I'm just praying tongues all through. By the time I look at the time, two, three hours, I don't want to stop because it's very sweet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So what we are, what we are seeing here is that it, um, um, 
So these guys were taken captives. They went into bondage. Captive means they were, they were, they were taken into captivity, into oppression. They were tied down by the enemy. The enemy came and arrested the whole family. This guy went out to walk. They came back and the enemy came. Hallelujah. They went into war. Hallelujah. The Amalekites ganged up against them. Some of you are busy doing other things. And when you come back, you see that the devil has invaded your camp. What do you do? What do you do at this time? And so David, amen, hallelujah, and his wife, everybody lifted their voice and they wept. They cried. I've always said it. Never waste your time crying physically. If you're a woman or a man that likes to cry every little thing or weakness, don't waste your energy on that. You know there's reward in crying. Huh? These tears is expensive. Very expensive. The devil laughs at it. In fact, the Bible says, in fact, uh, Rebecca Brown, I don't know if you know her, or some other ones who have gone to hell. They say that's the devil's food. Or that's the devil's offering. Your tears when you're crying. In the eyes of God, your tears are bottled in the book, in the Bible. According to the scriptures in the book of Psalms. Your tears are bottled and carried up to God. When God sees it, he has compassion over you. Your tears are prayers. Save it. I will never cry in the flesh. I will cry in the spirit. Always in the spirit. Hallelujah. Always in the spirit. Never will cry in the flesh. Why? Because in the spirit, there is great reward. Hallelujah. So now we are seeing that these guys began to cry. They cry in the flesh. They didn't die, but they thought maybe they killed their family. They only burnt their possessions. They felt like they were going to start from scratch again. Look at what happened. And his men, David and his men, came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire. Verse 4, And then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept, until they had no power to weep anymore. There are times that you reflect and you feel bad of your past. There are sometimes you feel like there's a setback in your past. Don't feel down feel encouraged david and it, david's two wives were taken captives look at this in verse six and david was greatly distressed for the people speak of stoning him because the soul of all the people were grieved that is what happens hallelujah when darkness is upon the people and oppression there is no joy there is conflict on every side things begin to happen hallelujah and all of a sudden david encouraged himself in god I love this. He encouraged himself in God. It's okay to reflect on your past. It's okay to reflect on your victories. It's okay to reflect on what you lost. It's okay to reflect on the prophecies that are yet to come to pass. Or those that broke your heart. Or those that walked away from you. Or those that left you. Or those that betrayed you. Or those that backstabbed you. It's okay to reflect on that. But never forget... That when the, in your reflection, once you feel down or depressed, the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Understand that the moment you get down emotionally, you let down your walls. Hallelujah. Self-pity is a sin. And you must understand the greatest way to encourage yourself. Go back and look at the prophecies God has spoken to your life. If you don't feel encouraged, get into worship and praise. You might not feel like praising God. Just play worship in the background. As you are doing that, faith begins to erupt within you. Faith begins to erupt within you. That is why it's always very good when people prophesy to you that you save such messages. Save the messages so that by the time you begin to listen, something begins to happen in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So as you begin to worship, I believe that God will begin to encourage you, will begin to motivate you. The Spirit, God will begin to change the atmosphere and change your mind from, listen to me, what you focus on can either elevate you or make you more depressed. Focus on worship is to focus on heavenly things. As you focus on heavenly things, you focus on God. 
But when you begin to focus on the earth, you focus on you, focus on your situation, focus on your past, you are looking down on the earth. You are looking down on the things that are not in the mind of God. As you ask God, Lord, fill me with the joy of God, something happens into your life. Are you hearing me? And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, without fail, recover all. He just said, Shall I pursue? Shall I go after my enemies? Is it safe? Is it your will? Is it your plan? What is your purpose for my life? And the Lord is saying, I raised up Joshua and Caleb to take back the land that was given to them. Even though the land was occupied by Nephilim, why would God promise me a land flowing with milk and honey? Giving me a land filled with my enemies. Not just enemies. These were giants. Not just giants. These were great giants, Nephilim, occupying the land and asking me to go and occupy the land. God, are you serious? God will always give you a blessing that is bigger than you. God will never give you a free gift. He will give you something to make you to understand that you did not acquire this by your own wisdom, by your smartness. You will definitely know that you acquired it by what? By the anointing of the Lord. So that you can rely more on Him. Just to bring you to the end of yourself. Every time God wants to give you something very big, He takes you through the wilderness to prepare you for something very great coming. I don't know if you're hearing the sound of my voice. Some of you are about to take back something very great that belongs to you. When God begins to release the riches and the blessing, it will baffle you. Gideon was hiding, but he didn't know that God was about to use him to recover and to take back. Jacob was busy taking the birthright of somebody else, but he didn't know that his name was converted to Israel. Don't be satisfied with what you have now. Abraham was satisfied with the little son he had. But God says, no, I have Isaac for you. I'm not forgotten your promise, my promise for you. I don't know what you've been waiting for. The hour and the moment to recover all is about to, to take place. No power of the devil will prevail against you. You will surely recover all that was stolen from your life. God is just teaching your hands to war and your fingers for battle. Hallelujah. There is so much confusion in the body of Christ. And look at what happened. And when God gave this instruction, he said, that will surely overcome and overtake and recover all. It was a word from God. Assuring David. I came here to tell you, as you begin to pursue God in this season, in the next 11 days, whatever the devil has stolen, damaged, destroyed, the thief, the devil came to kill, steal and destroy. Whatsoever plan and agenda the devil had for you this year, Attacking your kids, attacking your family, your mother, your father with cancer. Whether he felt he destroyed, you're about to recover all. Job went through all these seasons in his life. But there was the time that God said, enough, devil, you've had enough. Job did not curse me. He only questioned me. He didn't curse me. He passed the test and I want to restore him. Look at what he said. Verse 10. 
But David pursued and he and the 400 men. For 200 are bought behind, and they were so faint that they could not go over to the brook and be saw. They were so faint, they were so tired, they were so weary. So what did they do? And they found an Egyptian in the field. Egyptian means an enemy. Egyptian means your past. Egyptian. Egyptian you shall see, shall see them no more. An enemy. When God wants to give you favor, let's read for them. And they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David and gave him bread. He did eat and they made him drink water. And they gave him a piece of cake or figs and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him, for he had eaten no bread, nor drunk any water, three days and three nights. And David said unto him, To whom belongest thou? Whence art thou? And he said, I am a man of Egypt, servant to an Amalekite, and my master left me, because three days are gone I fell sick. We made an invasion upon the south chariot. This guy began to confess. And David said to him, Canst thou bring me to, the, to this company? And he said, Swear unto me by God that thou will neither kill me nor deliver me in the hands of my master, and I bring thee to the company. Wow. Are you seeing something here? This is deep. We are seeing something here how this guy, who was an enemy, an Egypt, Egyptian guy, began to reveal. You see, when man's ways please the Lord, it makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. So yeah, you see, David turned around and began to reconcile with God. He began to inquire God, and God began to give him favor. He was a man that was stranded, abandoned by his own company of enemies. Now this guy now is now found, and look at what David did. David he says, you must die. David began to extend love. That is one of the most serious, difficult things that is done nowadays. Feed your enemies. When you find your enemies, feed them. Sometimes bless them. They will begin to reveal the true intentions of their heart or the intentions of the enemy assigned against your life. So this guy was fed with all kinds of food. And before you know he started opening his mouth. And they led them to where the plan and the enemies are located. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of you are hearing the sound of my voice now. I don't know what has happened in your life. But we are seeing something here. God is about to use somebody to reveal the wicked agenda, plan, plot against you. The hidden agenda, the hidden motives must be revealed to you very soon. They will tell you how to get your enemies just by love. Just by love. Somebody from their camp will come to you and begin to extend and lend you some help. And if you help them, they will begin to open their mouths and talk. We need to show people favor. We need to help. Be of a kind person and be a giver. Hallelujah. We need to be a giver and be a friend of God. Hallelujah. Look, let's keep reading. God bless you, man of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, verse 16, And when he had brought him down, behold, they were spread abroad upon all the earth, eating, drinking, dancing, because all of the grace poor they had taken out of the land of the Philistines, and out of the land of Judah. Wow. So this was Judah. Judah means praise. So the enemy went, stole the grace upon, or, 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 stole their prosperity, burnt their possessions, destroyed everything. Even though they loved God, David began to cry. But after David connected to God, look how they said in verse 17. David smote them from the twilight even to the evening to the next day. They escaped not a man from them. Hallelujah. Not a man from them. Saved 400 young men which rode upon camel and fled. 
There was nothing lacking to them, neither small or great nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spores nor anything that they had taken to them. David recovered all. Don't tell me that you've lost everything. There is a place that the devil has kept his possessions. Whatsoever the devil has stolen from you, you will recover all. If they've taken the heart of your children, if they they've kept, if they have arrested the souls of your children, if they've taken your finances, if they've consumed your parents, everything that will make you who you are. A lady who was very smart was, was, was invited. Um, her mother was going to this white garment church. And this, they was taken to this train. And this woman said she had to do something because this girl was doing having painful menstruation. And the lady said, in order for that to go down, they need to do something, the ritual. Get a dove egg. And they took it over her head, sponge over her head, bait her at the strain at the dove, and the treat in the river. From that day, she began to have loss of memory. From that day, she didn't know what happened to her. Her life began to go down. Then she realized, oh my goodness. During her education, her exam, she began to realize that her memory power was going down. Finally, she realized her memory, her glory, is was washed away, taken from her head, thrown into the river. I remember the testimony of that young brother. He went to church. And that day, a prophet visited the church. And the prophet said, You young man, when you go home, ask your father what he did with you. And the young man says, What are you talking about? The young man just folded his legs arrogantly. But then when he got home, he said, ah, Daddy, the preacher I preached today, he asked him to ask you, What happened to my life? The guy had no clue. And the dad just looked at him and says, Come on, you idiot, get into your room. This boy was in the room, they didn't realize. Ah, his sister is married. His other brother is married. All of them are in the family house. All of them are, in, are all married in their husband's house. He is the only one still living the father. And he's their firstborn. What is this? He was thinking... He got so angry and he took bottle and broke broke the head of the piece of the bottle and went to the father's house, father's room. Locked the door of the father's room, put it in his, in his key in his pocket. He said, Dad, if you don't tell me the truth now, why is my life like this? And he wanted to stab the father. The father says, I will talk. I will tell you the truth. What happened? And the father sat down. Sat him down and said, Sit. Promise me that you'll not be angry. You forgive me. I did this in ignorance. Years ago, he said he was looking for money and he was asking God to bless him. And that was taking long. So somebody invited him to a voodoo priest. He said, Come to this voodoo priest. Let me show you. So he went to the voodoo priest and the voodoo priest looked at him. And this man took the pictures of all the children and he said, Ah, this is your first one. He's gonna be with the he's gonna be in the White House. He's gonna be with the white people. He won't come to uh, he won't come to Africa for a long time. But it will be a blessing to you. Ah. And the father looked at him ignorantly and says, Ah, what is White House? I have a farm in the house. Hallelujah. I have a farm in the house. Can you help me? Glory to God. Amen. Mm. Somebody shout hallelujah. 
and said, I had a farm in the house. I want my son to take care of it. What can I do? The Baba said, you need to the voodoo priest says, no, he has to be overseas. And, and the father said, please, I want, you, I want you to help me in the farm. I don't want this guy to travel overseas. If not, if you, uh, you, you abandon me. What can we do to change that? The next doctor says, you sure? He says, yes. And the next doctor gave him some things for the son. When you get to the, the first string, throw it in the string. And that will work. And as the river flows, the stream will take away his destiny. And he won't be able to find his way to America. That's all. Say yes. And so since that time, this guy has been stuck. Could not do anything productive. Being in the father's house, stuck. Because of the mistake the father did. And then the uncle came. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Why are you doing here? Why, why, you, why, aren't, why, aren't you, why aren't you doing something? Why aren't you walking? And he got so angry at the uncle. Leave me alone. Da, 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 da. And the uncle pronounced a curse on him. Pronounce a curse on him. I said, from today, you won't be able to feed yourself. Only women will feed you. And so every time his life was paralyzed, progress destroyed. Everywhere he went to. It was hard for him. I don't know what is your situation or what has been decreed. When we pray about the powers of the waters, pray with it seriously because it has received so many things. Back in Nigeria, there was a one of the biggest snake that was killed. When they opened the snake, there were names of people that the snake had swallowed. Names of people. What would their life be? What happened to them? A python that carried them. Are you ready for prayer? Something will happen to you, my brother, my sister. Let's get ready for what God is about to do in your life. I believe that when David recovered all, he had super abundance. There was nothing lacking. Look at what it says in verse 20. David took all the flocks and the herds. Hallelujah. He took all the flocks and the herds. Amen. Which they drave, which they drave before, and those other cattle. Hallelujah. And they said, This is David's foot. Hmm. Glory to God. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Now, when you read further in that scripture, some who were fainted, some were weak, who could not go into the battle. David could not recover some of them, but everything, everything, everything was given. The word of the Lord came to pass. The battle that is ahead is not for the faint. God must give you the grace. And in order to effectively recover all, you must be a man free of offense. You must be a man to let go of every pain and bitterness. You must be a man to stand in the right place of God in repentance. Hallelujah. You must repent for your family. Repent for yourself. Stand in the place of prayer. Examine your heart. Repent from every nonsense. That of your children, repent. Worship God till the spirit of worship is upon your life. Cry before Him. So when you stand in the place, you stand with confidence and authority. This is a song that says, I have confidence in you, Jesus. 
I have confidence in you. Every day, every day, I have confidence in you. Hallelujah. When you begin to sing that song, I have confidence in you. I have confidence in you. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready for what God is about to do? Let's get ready. Time is fast spent so we can pray. Hallelujah. The next 10 minutes, things will happen for you. Glory be to the living God. Glory be to the living God. Hallelujah. Some of us, you will see things, doors will open up. You might think that this prayer is just for nothing. All the mistakes that has happened. Hallelujah. Look at what happened. You know, you know how bad this thing is. A woman had so much conflict with her, with her father. You hear me? In the past. Now they are best for friends. But this woman, when she was single, um, she loved this guy so much. And um, the father did not want the girl to go get married to this guy. The father opposed it and opposed it. She begged the father. The father said, nope. And she too is stubborn. So one day, the father wanted her to do something and she went, she was with the boy. And uh, the, when she came back, the father cursed her and says, you this woman, you don't listen to me. That boy will bring you sorrow. You will experience sorrow in that marriage. And he was just talking out of anger. But they called him and they said, your daughter is almost dying. Come to the hospital. He went over there. He was really busy and she almost died. And uh, he saw her. He tried to help. He had to do a blood transfusion for her. She got out of the she got out of the hospital with the husband. The, you know the husband was involved, but she was involved. The next thing that happened, she was in pregnancy. She was she, she was about to give birth, and she gave birth to children or a kid that is um, uh, what you call it disabled. Hallelujah, not normal. And when this boy came, could not really. I mean, was just acting weird and everything. The father started crying. The father, who is a pastor now, says, My God, the curse I said to her, not because I cursed this child, but because what I said opened the door to the devil. And you see, the prophet Balaam, Balak wanted Balaam to curse the Israelites. And he said, I cannot curse what God has blessed. Why? Because the blessing immunized, amen, the enemy from placing a curse. When a blessing comes upon you, it's like a magnet. It's like a covering. So whoever wants to pray a curse upon you, because the blessing is there, cannot work. But the absence of blessing, it attracts every one curse can attract ten other curses. So a curse from a mother, or a curse from a father, whether they spoke it angrily, or they spoke it childishly, or they spoke it jokingly, can attract all kinds of curses. Are you hear me? One curse can attract many other curses. If you don't, if you if you don't literally break such curse, it will continue happening and multiplying. That is why don't speak negatively against your children. You see, look at what happened to look at what happened. And we we're about to pray. The Bible says that Laban was warned by God in a dream. Be careful how you speak to Jacob. Jacob was leaving Laban's house. With, with his wives. Laban confronted Jacob. Jacob spoke angrily. Whoever has the idol will die. He did not know that it is the wife that he loved the most. Had it. But that word that was said. Not that God killed that girl because of the anointing on Jacob. No. The devil is, has been looking for how to attack Jacob's family with death. But that spoken word that Jacob said empowered the devil. Gave the devil free right to attack the wife. No matter what Jacob has said, Lord protect my wife. That whoever has it shall die. Has cancelled whatever protection he has made in his prayers. Whatever protection he was asking from God. Just because she stole that thing. 
whatever declaration he said out of anger happened. Killed the wife he loved. And he could not even pray, Lord, raise her back to life. No. Because that was over. The little words you utter out of anger can literally shut the door against your spouse, against your children, just by angry. I know the time when my mother said something angry towards my dad and he closed down every door of my dad. I remember that time. And everywhere my dad went to seek help, they would tell him, go back and apologize to your wife. We have to be careful, one way or the other. Was my mother affected? Yes. But you won't, she wouldn't even know what happened to my dad, where the door was closed. You might have spoken something childishly, carelessly, but did you close good doors in your life? Hallelujah. It was close good doors in your life. And so this morning, I want to use the opportunity of many of us, in any way we have spoken negatively, in any way we have done something negatively to our fellow brother or sister that has, that has closed the womb of our lives, that has closed our destinies, we're going to talk to the Lord, that the Lord will have mercy upon us. And let every curse spoken over us be lifted. Hallelujah. Every spell be lifted. Let every enchantment be lifted. The sorcery be lifted over our lives. Hallelujah. The Bible says a curse, curseless cannot come on us. But any curse that comes upon us is because we open the door to it. Hallelujah. Today we are going to pray. Hallelujah. There are blessings that have been washed away. There are blessings that belong to us, that was once stolen or captured, taken from our lives. Hallelujah. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Amen. Are you ready for prayer? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Mom brother Rabaka Sikato Bohos. Hallelujah. Zada Bada Bada Baya. Mom brother Rebe Baradish. God Jesus. Are you ready? Say, my father, my father. Balabaraba Shandabaha. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Be thou exalted, be thou honored. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, by your mercy. Every mistake by my parents. That are results to my backwardness. That has resulted to my backwardness. My father show me mercy. And restore me now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ligaraba Rababaka Shanda Bahaya. Every mistake that my parents have done, every mistake, every words that they've uttered, that has addressed my situation, that has controlled my future, that has opened the door for the enemy. My Father, show me mercy and restore me now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my Father, my Father, by your mercy, Every curse spoken over my life. Be wiped away by your blessings. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody shall fire. Amen. You're going to say this loud and clear. Say, every demon's attacking my destiny. Because of the curse of my parents. Spoken over my life. By the blood of Jesus. Be arrested by fire. 
Opi amata fire prayer. Erega dere bebe ge beria ha. Ila branka dara baba kasabra ha. Erega dere bebe 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 ge beri bebia. Banka dara baba dara baba ge baradia. Erega dere bebe 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 ge beri bebia. Erega bebe ge beri bebe beri bebia. Erega dere bebe 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 ge beri bebia. Erega dere bebe bebe bebia. Erega dere bebe bebe bebia. Erega dere bebe 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 ge beri bebia. Imbran dara baba bebe bebia. Zeke de baha. Ila branda dara baba ya baradia. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. When you study that scripture, it says, Honor your mother and your father that it may go well with you, that it may be well with you. Hallelujah. You are going to pray. Sometimes when there is a, a, by mistake, we tend to dishonor them, not because we want to. Hallelujah. How can a man be held in traffic, rushing to meet the father's demand, and then all of a sudden you didn't meet that and then the father begins to make evil pronouncements out of anger and then the devil sees that okay now because of what he has said i can move into motion and use that cross to block his life come on hallelujah you're going to pray this prayer <laughs> and the devil is very legal he uses legal legal stuff against us hallelujah mm. hallelujah mm. In any way, have dishonored my parents. And it has affected my destiny. My father showed me mercy. Repair and restore me now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Rabba baba rabba baga baradiri bebio. Erreke de rebe 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 abaradia. Erreke de rebe 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 abaradia. My father, my father, libra de rebe bebia. Repie and restore me now by your mercy. Erreke de rebe 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 bebia. Erreke de rebe 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 bebia. Erreke de rebe 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 in Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says something that is very, very unique. Hallelujah. Um, in the book, Noah, the Bible says, was found naked by his sons. And the sons, hallelujah, when Noah realized that somebody had saw his nakedness, he placed a curse on that son's seed. He placed a curse on son. He placed a curse on what? On the child, hallelujah, the forthcoming child that is yet to be a born. Hallelujah. Why? Because, amen. When you place a curse on your child, you will be the one to go through the pain. But when you place a curse on the child's on your on your son's child, you are dealing with your son. Because the son is will be the one to bear with the pain of your child. Does that make sense? Hallelujah. And that was what happened. This guy costs, and so some of us have gone through that nonsense. Whereby the devil doesn't want to attack you, he attacks your child. Hallelujah. Dealt with Job's children. Hallelujah. They're going to pray. <laughs> Every curse that has fallen upon my seed. <laughs> From my parents. Be revoked by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Reke de rebe beke de rebe bia pa. Ma libranda rebe beke de rebe bia. E reke de rebe beke de rebe bia baradia. E reke de rebe beke de rebe bia. E vrekas. E la branda raba ba rebe beke baradia. E raba ba raba ba ga raba ba ya baradia. E rogo do rebe beke rebe bia. E reke de rebe beke rebe beke rebe bia. Ma branda raba ba rebe beke de rebe bia. E reke de rebe beke rebe beke de rebe bia. O rebe beke de rebe beke rebe beke de rebe bia. O rebe beke rebe beke rebe beke de rebe bia baradia. 
In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says that the same guy called uh, Jacob was so angry and he said, Whoever did this, let him die. Whoever took the idol of the father's house. Let him die. Who over to the fight the idol of Laban's house? Let him die. Laban did not place the curse. Laban was not believer. Jacob was one that said it angrily, without knowledge. And his wife that he loved the most died. He couldn't save the love could not save the wife. He died. Some of us have placed a curse angrily because somebody provoked you. And it has affected your spouse, affected the children. You're going to pray this prayer loud and clear. <laughs> Every curse affected the progress of my family. Every curse affected the progress of my blood. That I have spoken angrily. Break now by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Rega da rebe bega bere bebe ka baradia. Rega da rebe bega bere bebia. Rega da raba bega bere bebia baradia. Every curse that has spoken. Rega da rebe bere bebia baradia. Affecting my blood. Affecting my family. Affecting my seed. Affecting my children. Affecting my future. I break that curse by fire. 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 Rega da rebe bega beria. Ilaga da raba bere bebia. Manda rabba ba rabba ba gaza ba ha. Erega da rabba ba rabba ba ya. Erba ba rabba ba gaza ba ba rabba ya. Leda gada rabba ba rabba ba gaza ba ya. Rabba ba rabba ba gaza ba rabba ba rabba ya. Magaza ba da rabba ba. Erega da rabba ba rabba ya. Rabba ba rabba ya ba radi ya. Zila ba da rabba ba rabba ya ba radi. Rabba ba ga ba rabba ya. Rabba ba rabba ba rabba ya. In Jesus' name we pray. Every word I have spoken affected my favor. Every evil word. This power is this prayer is very powerful. Lay your hands upon your placenta. Every evil word spoken from my bloodline. Affecting my progress. Break by fire. 
Thank you, Lord. Mandala Brababaya. In Jesus' name we pray. Every evil word spoken by my parents. Empowering my enemies over my life. Every evil word spoken by my parents. Used by the devil to torment my life. Scatter by fire. Rebe de rebe de rebe de rebe de rebe de in Jesus name we pray before the year comes to an end every blessing stolen from my life I take it back by fire Opia mata tonda fire era ke der be be ke der be bia era ke der be be ka bar der ya or be 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 ke der be bia era ke der be 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 ber be bia or be 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 ke der be bia i ke der ba ba ka ba era ke der ba 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 le ke der ba 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 ka ber be bia era ke der be be ke ber be bia i take them back by fire every blessing era ke der be be ke ber ya era ke der ba ba ya paradia era ke der be 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 bia are be 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 ke ber bia every ke der ba ba era be 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 ke ber be before the end of this year, I take back that blessing by fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It says the blessings of the Lord make it one rich. And he added no sorrow. No sorrow. No sorrow. He added no sorrow. No sorrow. <laughs> my father, my father. Before the end of this year. Please pray this prayer with focus. No distraction. The blessings that make it one rich. Without no sorrow, 
place it upon my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By your mercy, in Jesus name we pray why did Jacob wrestle with an angel to the breaking of the day until you bless me have you ever wondered that why did this man bless him I thought his father blessed him already so why is he fighting an angel say bless me unless you bless me Ah, your mother loved you. You got blessed. Your father blessed you. And you are crying for a blessing. And you told all your family to go ahead. Why? Let me tell you the reason why. A cause costless cannot come. Even if your father blessed you. A curse came on him. Why? Those who have been listening to us on, the, on, on Periscope and WhatsApp. And on the prayer line. Why did they curse? Why do you think? What happened to him? Who cursed him? Talk to me. Somebody quickly, quickly, quickly. Why was he struggling with Laban? Huh? His brother, his brother, hallelujah. He stole a birthright from his brother and the brother wanted to kill him and the brother was cursing him. The brother out of anger said some things that affected Jacob. So wherever Jacob was to get his wife, he could have got his wife easily. That wife still died. The wife he loved. Everything began to die. Even Joseph was about to die too. Amen? If he did not reconcile with the brother, everything would have gone kaput. But the angel came. He began to cry to God. Bless me. Bless me. Bless me. Without that encounter of an angel, forget about the father's blessing. Forget about the father's blessing. This guy, Jacob, would have cried and cried. It was the encounter that changed all that. Unless you bless me. And he says, what is your name? He said, your name is Israel. Hallelujah. And God began to change things. When his brother came, he blessed him. But guess what? The, the wife had to still die. Hallelujah. Amen. Things are, glory to God. Things have happened already. I don't know what has happened to your life. Hallelujah. When God blesses you, he changes the whole situation. When there's a blessing, it makes even your enemies to be at peace with you. But when there is a curse, it makes even your enemy to be more angrier towards you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is the prayer? My father, turn every curse in my life to a blessing. My father, my father, turn every curse to be a blessing in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Very quickly. He says what? Turn my curse to be a blessing. What did the angel say before he left? What did the angel say to what did the angel say to Jacob? He says, What? Your name means Jacob means supplanter, deceiver. But from today your name shall be called what? Israel. Hey, my father, turn my name to be a blessing. Turn my destiny to be a blessing. Turn every curse in my life to a blessing. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ragada raba bara bebe geberia. Ila gada raba bara bebe geberi bebia. Manda raba bara bebe gebia bara dia. My father, my father. Every curse in my life. 
Turn my life to blessing. Turn my life, oh God. Turn my destiny to the blessings of the Lord. Turn every cross in my life, turn it to a blessing. Some of you are not praying. In Jesus' name we pray. One more time, I want you to give that prayer an extra, extra fire. My father, my father, turn my life. <laughs> Everything I do. Turn it to a blessing. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless everyone today for dialing in. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Hallelujah. I see people being changed. I see robes being changed. I see chains that was forming as a limit in your life. Hallelujah has been broken, has been broken, has been broken. A particular sister be going through some serious menstrual, menstrual pain because of the evil word you spoke to your mother a long time ago. That has been broken now in the name of Jesus. It has been broken now. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. One thing is for sure, you will never be the same again. You will never be the same again. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are blessed. Hallelujah. The Lord favor you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. I speak the blessings of God. Let it rest upon you. Let it be like glue upon you. May the blessings of God preserve you. May the blessings of God preserve you and give you good life, long life. And that it may be well with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless everyone today. Go rest in God. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, blessings now. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you.